YouTube. What's up? It's me, Soaring Moon, here with another episode of our Trove series thing. Yeah. I made some changes to my microphone settings. Hopefully, it should be a little better for you all. Um, I don't know. Shadow placement acting a little weird for me here recently. So, it's just... It's just that this video is going to be about mods and mod support being added to Trove and what mods I use and what they do and those things. So let's get right into it. Um, here's my list of mods. I'm going to go through each of them and let you know what they do and give you examples of what they do. Here, customize visual effects for shadow and radiant and stellar drops. That's basically what it does is it, it makes visual effects for your shadow drops. Now I have magic find of 800, so let's see if we can go do that. Ninth life drops are awesome. Meow Sapphire is an awesome streamer. Somebody's trying to get my attention, Bow Monk. Recording. I do not have a video about class gems, but I can make one. It'd be nice. So let's go get a shadow drop and see if we can get these visual effects to display. Of course not. Basically farming right now. That's all I really need. He has some nice wings. I like those wings. They're very pretty. There's another mod that you can see right there. And we'll cover that. I'll try to cover them in order. No shadow drop yet. Let us continue. see the visual effects from the shadow drop so it makes this impossible to miss um, even if you're outside of the dungeon uh, it's pretty darn visible so you can see it from a good distance away know that you had a shadow drop if you have a radiant drop the visual effects are more extreme and if you have a stellar drop even more so it's a very useful mod does its thing Next mod on our list is the Karma Tooltip. And right now, I believe that the Karma Tooltip does not work for Gym Karma. But it does work for caches. So we can get like a chaos chest on the market real quick. Spending money for a video. Can't get a single chest on the market. These people are, are like that. If you hover over it, it says you have 52, and if you use 18 of them, you'll get your, your karma. So, I mean, it has its uses. 200 radiant shards, nice. 600 flux, not nearly what I spent for that. <laughs> so, Actually, you know what? What's the radiant price right now? Radiant shard. Oh, about a thousand flux. So that's not too bad. It's still not what I spent. Mods. Loot tracker. So what the loot tracker does is if you kill something, let's see here. I have killed that thing and I've picked up a glim, and it says 13 next to it. 
I have um, 8,115 glim, but it's, um, it's counting how much I've picked up within the current instance. So if you're farming something, it lets you know how much you've picked up since you've been in your current area or location. So that's pretty neat. Okay. All right. Next mod is boss health. So we're going to go do an ST for that. Pop in here. Let's do an ST where you can actually see the amount of damage that the boss will take. We'll do a hard spike walker. Waiting for the world to load, of course. During this time, we can talk about another mod. It's up in that corner. It's a um, world timer. I'll show you which mod that is here. It is this right here. So that mod, what it does is it counts how many dungeons you've completed and how many dungeons per hour you have completed. So it counts your efficiency or efficacy um, of doing dungeons and how many you complete within a certain period. So. It's not very accurate whenever you have, uh, when you just entered the world and you've completed a dungeon, but over time its accuracy gets more and more precise as you complete dungeons. You can see that it took me about 56 uh, seconds to complete the first dungeon, and that translates to about uh, 30, uh, 63 dungeons per hour. And since this is technically another dungeon after I beat this boss, um, I've completed two within one minute and 15 seconds, which is translates to about 98 dungeons per hour. Now that I'm entering a new instance, I think it re uh, it resets the counter. Yep. Yeah. Um, and in the corner there, you can see that there's a, there's a counter for the current server time, and it's corrected so that whenever it hits um, uh, zero, 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 it will be 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and I do believe um, that is um, 12 p.m. GMT, if I remember correctly. European player. Go through here. Yeah, I need those sunlight bulbs for a massive garden of steed feed. N planting roughly 20,000 steed feed. So, it's going to be quite impressive. But that amounts to making prob about uh, 35k somewhere else. And I don't have the patience to do that. Oh, I have no idea why I opened that chest. I'm not going to get any shadows out of that. And basically, if you're doing a dungeon, um, especially with one of the smaller enemies over here, Spam your potions, because they reset every time you complete uh, a dungeon within uh, the ST. So you can blow through your potions pretty quickly and do a lot of damage. Right now I'm waiting to get 10k cubits so that I can get unyielding and not suck anymore. Because right now I've been... The entire time I've been playing this game, I've been playing um, sub-optimally for, for Faye. Like, really sub-optimally. Like, I don't even have uh, crit damage as the second stat on my, on my equipment, short of the Stellar Staff. So, I have health regeneration on the second stat. And I need to, I need to fix that. I was waiting for there to be some event that allowed me to re-roll the second stat, but I might, uh, I might have to rebuild those Stellars. So here, whenever I spawn the boss, you can see 279 million HP. 
So I pop down my face stabs, teleport to get out of the way. I pop the pot to do three times the amount of attack damage. And even whenever he's protecting himself um, while crouched, I can still blow through his HP pretty quickly. But it counts the HP value. How awesome of mod is that? Very useful. It counts your um, damage over time, your you know your damage per uh, per minute uh, DPS uh, damage per second. I rather, and then um, your t total team DPS. So you can compare how much damage you've done compared to your to total team, which is really awesome. Um, next is the mini boss radar, which you've seen. You've seen the beams. I showed you that. Um, the symbols chat mod. This, this is really cool. So. Um, in the chat, you can see that if I, um, if you right-click people, it does um, some optimizations as with the friend requesting, ignoring users and stuff like that, so that it's it's better managed. But it also puts a timer on the side here, and it lets you know when they, uh, you know, when people have done things. And it does, and it adds another layer of um, management um, to. To your chat system so it's it's supplementary it's really nice uh, here you have um, enhanced loot collector and loot collector sorting these two mods can't work together if you enable one because it changes UI loot, loot collector, collector shockwave flash and this also changes loot collector shockwave flash the loot collector sorting what it does is that it um, sorts all of the items in the loot collector by um, their rarity and it prevents uh, you from uh, being able to destroy Stellar's, Radiance, or, um, or S4 rings. So it just uh, automatically locks them whenever you enter. So you have to physically unlock them in order to, to destroy them or, or loot collect them. But these two mods can't work together um, because there's a conflict in that loot collector shockwave flash. That's why I have them turned off. Um, if I'm going to turn one on, I'm probably going to turn on the loot collector sorting because it prevents the destruction of those items, which is really useful. And it also sorts them by rarity. So uh, you, the, the least rare ones are, are automatically unlocked and it's really, it's really nice. Club member sorting. And this is very, very cool. When you have a, a club, especially the, like mine here, I can list off my members and automatically sorts them by how long they've been gone. So if, especially if you have a bigger club like Voxel Busters, for example, um, and it's going to be some laggy, but I can sort them by how long they've been gone. That's great for, for like club management. So you could easily, you know, say, oh, uh, everyone below a month, you can just go through and start deleting them without any kind of additional effort put into having to sort them. Now I'm, you see that I'm scrolling through, I'm scrolling down with the scroll wheel and it's a little choppy because there's some issues with the optimization of the window. And now after a bit, it allows me to scroll in and out outside of the window, even though I'm, I have my mouse cursor directly over top of the window. That it's just really buggy, <laughs> but I mean, it's so useful that I don't want to get rid of the, I, I don't care that it's so buggy. It's just, it's excellent. Why would I get rid of it? But. I only use the functional mods, and those are the functional mods that are available on the Steam Workshop right now. Uh, you can view them all that way pretty easily. So, yeah. Oh, and I want to discuss discuss some maths with you. And it's just some uh, one little thing that I, I was doing earlier. And um, if you want to know your chance of getting a drop from a pinata, <laughs> um, you take the amount of people who are in the pinata party. So let's say there are, are 100 people on your pinata party. You divide it by seven. Obviously, I typed one. <laughs> divide it by seven, All right, 14. And you see that it's 14.2857, right? So you divide that by 15.2857. Uh, you add one to that number, you press enter. And this will give you your, um, give you a percent chance of actually getting a drop from 
the from the pinata party and that's uh <laughs> and that would be you have about a 0.93 percent chance of getting a drop whenever a pinata is thrown so i think that's i think that's correct pretty sure one percent doesn't sound right by seven one over here divided by fifteen point two eight five and that would be yeah, yeah that's correct you have a one percent chance whereas if there are seven people in the pinata party um, you have a 100% chance. So it's, you divide it by eight, eight, eight seven, five, but the, there's one person there who's guaranteed to receive it. The one person who isn't that uh, one eighth, so the, it's guaranteed. If there's 14 people there, you only have half of the chance to obtain it. So it would be 14 divided by seven um, is two over three is you have a 66% chance of obtaining an item every time a pinata is thrown. So it's interesting um, how low of a chance you actually have whenever you bring a bunch of people into a pinata party um, to to break those open. It's 14. Let's see here. I, I'm trying to do it in my head because 14 is supposed to be a 50% a chance. And I'm wondering why be over two two you know what I, I think i've been doing that wrong the entire time because it should be 14 divided by seven and i'll be 100 divided by that number we'll give you the percentage divided by two so it'd be 50 percent chance and then if you have 100 people in the pinata party then it would be 14.2 yeah that was my problem um it would be 100 divided by 14.2857 and that gives you a seven percent chance of getting a pinata um from that for some reason i wasn't taking the the I wasn't taking the inverse, but the point is, there you go. Uh, you have a seven percent chance with uh, with a hundred people in the room of getting a pinata. It's really, it's really low. <laughs> so if you're in these big pinata parties where people um, announce in like in world chat the party has started, you should come to our club world. Don't go to those pinata parties. You're probably not going to get anything. And I mean, if they throw. 100 pinatas, you're gonna get 7%. So you're gonna get payouts from seven pinatas. And that's like, not good at all. Because you, you're almost looking for some of those items that have a one in 200 drop rate. You have to go to like 30 pinata parties to get a chance to get anything good, like a pinata dragon egg or anything like that. And it's just, it's not gonna help you at all. <laughs> so it's good to look into if you want that kind of tip. Probably made this video a little longer than I should have. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Slash, slash dance. Oh wait, no wait, wait, wait. I got off my mouth this time, slash dance. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Look at my little duty, my little uh, dude buddy over here. My my duty, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, he's just doing his dancing. All right, see you later.